I mean, chat already mentioned it. Like, that was the reason why he died last run. Uh, he didn't have pants on, and that's why the enemies were in him. He needs to keep them he out. He was literally asking for it. <laughs> Dressed like that in this part of Tashin. Oh, my dodge counter is broken. Does anyone know why that happens? How is that not a basement? Why is that not part of the UI by default? Why didn't you not to show me my dodge counter? Wait for me. Maybe because they want you to learn to play into the that. I will. <laughs> he says as he misses an overhead into a Mauler. Maybe the Mauler is just too small of a target. Maybe he's too good. There's something really unpleasant about this really loud thing going off in my ear all the time. Well, possibly gonna start modding. Uh, Judge, he already, he already like made a mod. Falfoss is the, the proud owner of voice. <laughs> uh, Grimlock contributed to that. <laughs> what a contribution to the society. Dog. Okay, you can't ask questions like that. You're questioning his authenticity. He's a very authentic Patrick. Have I ever cheated a thumbnail? Yes. No! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. No, you haven't. And sometimes I, I like keep the video file and I rename it, like fill the time, but maybe good thumbnail at, you know, 10 minutes or so. What do you need, like? If you could have name mod right now, what would it be? Um, we already have a mod that lets you say no. Oh. Well, Telephods, if you could have any mod right now, uh, what mod would it be? Anything that implies the existence of a modded realm. So, weapon, difficulty rebalance, twitch mode. Or actually, within the realm of possibility, I would want something that is maybe blacklist certain things. Like, if I'm queuing up, I don't know if the game has a capability level. If it's like my lobby, like I'm first in, you can't join me if you're playing Psyker, have a plasma gun, that kind of stuff. I'd just love something like that. A racism mod? Yeah, just oh. literally like segregation. Like, I'm not gonna say you're lesser, but you can't. You, we have to be separate. That'd actually be pretty nice. Like block thunder hammers when I'm playing monsters. Oh, this door sometimes kills enemies. Okay, but you say you want to block thunder hammers, but. What if it was me playing with that? Blocked. Well, you're already blocked because you're British. Yeah, but I'm, yeah. Not, gonna, I'm not gonna hit a monstrosity with that thing, come on. I'm gonna fall off the map. I think that if you activate Thunderhammer, you should be able to hit the ground and then you get like a, a rocket jump. Okay, that would actually yeah. be kind of sick. Uh, that's what, that's what I, like at one point, I really did want the Thunderhammer to have like a leap attack. See, this is why we need things where you can select variants of things. So, like, instead of having the zealot dash, you have the zealot leap forward. Yeah, let's just hop on people. Like Slayer Barton too? Yes, the, the old ranger trick. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't get pushed, and I don't know why I double dash, but these things just happen sometimes. Yeah, chop into him. Oh! I did. <laughs> he looks like he shitted. He shitted when he farted. Never again. Hi, this is Gilbert Gottfried, and I'm shitting and pissing and coming.
I love that video so much. We have a bit of a uh, problem. And that problem's name is the French. We have two problems. This does not shoot like a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. It shoots like a nerf gun. But they actually buffed it. Oh no. What? Bloody French is auto mod. <laughs> what the fuck? The auto mod has some really spicy things to say, block. <laughs> okay, that's actually hilarious. We have a lot of coal coming. Oh, how did that vomit? me? I'm behind it. I really hate this enemy so much. But you weren't lying. Recon last guns, how do you recoil? That would be uh Oh the beast is behind me and aggroed on me, but it made no sound so I didn't know. I heard one noise and it's like, oh it aggroed on something. <laughs> cool. I'm so Max glad you can do that. Oh, that's a vomiting series. Max typo on their name. They are recoil lasguns. <laughs> it reminds me of just like, recoilless rifle? This thing is this good and it doesn't have any recoil? Imagine the recoiling rifle. <laughs> it makes you recoil in horror. That's how terrible it is. That's what I want. They bring the calm with that old Madonna. Took this gun and we packed it full of recoil. Green aggro indicator? Uh, up Swedish. Forgotten tech. I don't know. Visual aggro indicators are the most. Just like having captions is for. Lesser Real lesser top dogs. Lesser. No, they own even without his scoreboard. <laughs> How about sound cue only played for aggroed players, not the whole part? I mean, no. I'll do one better. Oh my god. How about how about only players who Works so well for snipers, right? If you use the Agri Brace, you should get the entire sound cue. Nobody else should get any sounds so you can hear fully. I don't understand how that reaches me. Again, like that's twice today where I'm like, there is no way that Brister hits me and you just take the full blast of it. Wait. I think I think what bothers me is just, 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 just slightly random comment, but your comment with every phrase kind of reminds me. It's like I think the thing that bothers me the most about like how the recall works in this game is that a lot of the stuff that you would want that is really cool to do and fun, like. You know, if you're sliding sideways, it feels to me like you shouldn't have any suppression while you're sliding. Because it's really sick, like sliding under gunfire and shooting. You just feel so the action cool movie thing. Stop being scared. Exactly, exactly. Like, it's just one of those things where it's just like, or, you know, maybe the first shot you take while sliding, or first shoot, or something. It's just, it's just an example where it's like, I want the game to make it 
more rewarding to do stuff that is fun. <laughs> I, yeah, they should they should add a new revolver where when you start sliding, you start spinning your revolver around. And the first shot you take after sliding it does more damage. Indeed, I'm sorry. I I <laughs> for a long time wanted a uh, uh, a zealot to place. You know how there's the 10% um, move speed zealot thing that needs to get rid of. Re That's replace the I, I know I know what to replace that with. Right? Here's, here's what you replace it. With. You replace that with. Are you ready for this? Okay, not really. But basically, you place it with when you're sliding, every bullet you dodge while sliding makes you slide faster. God, so it like pulls you forward. Yes, and the slide lasts as long as the speed lasts, right? So just imagine like you're sliding towards the lighted gunners, you just go just accelerate towards them. And then when you are shit. Exactly. That should have a hidden effect where you can fully control where your slide goes. So you can just start like Doing donuts while gunners yeah. are firing at you. That, that, that I think is, you know, that that is the real. That's what Dark Tide needs. It's just like that. That's definitely not a tool. I need problem. a rocket pack on my back. <laughs> just make an entire racing league in Dark Tide of people sliding through maps. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I just, I just, I just have a feeling. A uh, bit of a range elite know. moment right here. Oh, yeah. I love the no you... dodge counter. Nah, I'm I mean, about to say, the... I don't use a dodge counter yet. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. I, no. That I, use a dodge I did none of those a beast in existence. <laughs> the thing I hate the most about having a dodge counter is that whenever I, I, I have it, um, I just realize that there are moments where I'm spamming dodge for no reason, and I feel bad, so I'm just like, why am I doing the general dodge counter? You have to spend them, you know. If, if you go over your cap, like before your, your dodge refreshes, you gotta get rid of them before it refreshes. People in Tertium could have used those dodges, you know. Indeed, I, 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 I. There's some gameplay missing around dodges at that point for you. Oh. Yeah, I do believe that one of the, the keystones for Zealot should just be turned into, like, a dodging, sliding part of the tree, where when you're sliding, you just get a bunch of bones. Like somebody mentioned Zealot with healings on. There should be a modifier where when you start sliding, your your healings start lighting up and you start blinding anybody who's watching you slide. Yeah, that's that should be that should be what it is in the tree. Is that uh, it's it's called grease kneecaps and it just gives you the double your slide distance. <laughs> <laughs> the downside of your character now has shiny knees. I like a good lengthy progression. What's the progression like? It's the worst thing ever made. It is just a pure slot machine that is a binary result of did you get the thing that you want or not. After 2600 hours, I still don't have all the things that I want. It's miserable. Wait for the wait for the update. They're changing the crafting system. Sometime this year, do not get the game now. <laughs> it's so lengthy though. <laughs> but it did say progression. I mean like... Can't be too. Can't be too harsh. Lengthy progression like that guy pushing a boulder up the hill. Yeah, if you want progression like that, I just be, go right ahead. Uh, I mean, they literally say one must imagine Sisyphus happy because of the lengthy and meaningful gear progression we have. It's actually true. Yeah. Was oh, that the but second hidden part they never tell you? No, they, you know, one must imagine Sisyphus happy. But, I mean, the gear progression part, yeah, you have to imagine. Happy. But, uh, you know. He's definitely optimizing. They might reach it when the update arrives. Uh, I think the update is coming like fucking September, December, dude. That shit is gonna be a while. Which update? The crafting? Yeah. <laughs> open, 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 open. Ah, there's two of them! Ah, there's three of them! Oh, I'm getting chill fast. <laughs> <laughs> My joke has turned into horrible things. I hope it's in the Just introduce the crafting change in the upcoming Gene Stealer plus Eldar expansion. Ah, surely. Yes. Huh. As as a Dark Tide tester, 
Uh, I will not break my end yet. Yes, June Shooter Circles. June Circles are coming. They are 90% complete. They're a whole new faction. Um, and everyone who looked at the Rashad and said, Damn, that's on a June Circles miniature. Well, yep, you were right. Yeah, just just oh like just like the people who looked at the uh, at the files and said, That's the finesse, Chain Axe. And two-handed force sword. They, they were right on the money. <laughs> oh yeah, also they're replacing hounds with bomb squigs. That's factual. Okay, that's base. Yeah, like, I, I think that's the thing, it's like, horrendous specialists, but they're orcs, so I think people, like, would be mad. They would just, they just let it happen. Man, fuck fighting orcs, I wanna play as an orc. Make green tide. Dude. You, go, you undergo, like, a revolutionary procedure, that Hadron gives you the orcoplasty, so that you can go in and come an orc. You will never be a real orc. You will never be a real green skin. <laughs> <laughs> You're a crude mockery of nature's perfection. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I you like will orcs. never imagine functional guns. <laughs> you will never have warp powers. They, no, but they, they would be willing to let you like join in. But, but I think orcs are pretty. Yeah. They're pretty uh, accepting. I mean, I, I'm dog. I think orcs would definitely accept if you just like. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. I got one hit by the Gareth spawn, and I got dogged if I didn't even do anything. You wanna kill the Imperium, but Imperium is, like, good? The heretics yeah, are but... good? They bad? Well, yes, but playing as a bad guy is fun sometimes. Orcs are bad guys. This orcs are... Good. Yeah, orcs are the good guys. No, orcs aren't good guys, orcs aren't bad guys, orcs are just guys. <laughs> they just oh. died. Yeah, they're just guys died. having a good old time. It's, it's like like humanity, some... humanity are the good guys, but orcs are also... There's room for more than one bad for a good person. But it's like you, you know when you know when someone says the boys are back in town. <laughs> the That's orcs what the are the boys. Oh, oh, quite <laughs> literally, the slugger boys are back in. Town. Yeah, and it's just like you don't know, walk through me. Don't walk through me. You know, everyone knows that the, the boys are both the source of many of your greatest problems because the boys encourage you to do bad things, but also you can live without the boys. You know what I mean? That's, that's all are evil, I don't trust anything that looks like a bug ever since Deathwing. After getting one hit in the chest by some regular dude, I, I've had enough. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't think that, that hungry animals can't be evil, I've seen, like, the evil of my friend's cat when she's hungry. She, she does stuff, I've seen it. Like, and she bullies the other animals. Like, he has a dog, and the stuff his cat does to the dog is... We gotta get out of here just before... There is evil in these beasts. So, some, some animals are evil. Dude, I'm getting stupider by the fucking minute playing this weapon. <laughs> oh, look at this sniper's just looking at the environment. Oh, he's ashamed of that. He found out. Daily dallying. Yeah. <laughs> his hobby of bird watching has been exposed. He won't look cool in front of his. I'm pretty sure there's no birds on Atoma, dude. This place is a shithole. No, no, it's, it's, it's like um, Nurgle cherub watching. You're just looking for all of the corrupted, different corrupted flying units for that. Confirm. I feel like that's kind of the problem with with uh, with, with, with chain weapons too, is, is that you can't chain into and out of the rev in interesting ways, and so it kind of it's a weapon that is down some moves. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there's quite a lot of weapons that fall into that category where it's just like this weapon has, has been denied the ability to be interesting by being forced to have this mechanic. Alright, I'm gonna be right back because it's driving me to drink something. Some, some hard drink. I'm gonna get some heavy water real quick. Uh, oh, if it's hard, then how can it be a liquid? <laughs> I froze it. Oh. Then? Then? I don't have an. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I hear a mini patrol, I think. Cat. What bloody weapons do you guys like the most? What people like? I feel like if you're a teleport to you, you have to like the double claw, or he, or you like wouldn't, you wouldn't be allowed in. I'm gonna look and say D claw, seven pressure because I'm watching. Here. 
I'm judging. Oh, that's a lot of boys. Yeah. I, I think it's... I mean, it's definitely... Devil Claw 7, Heavy Sword 7, Crusher. I like Knives. More the original than the new one, but I think they're both fun. I don't like <laughs> this flamer any... vomited down his tube when I killed him, bro. <laughs> the, I just I can't think of any of the like activation weapons that I like really. Oh, they're all they're all horrible. Oh, there was a second burster. Look at that masterful dog. But Iron Helm is something that I. Iron Helm huge... could be cool if it wasn't a Thunder Hammer. Yeah, like, you know, the Iron Helm is probably this great. It's, it's like a rework away from being something I like. Um, I've got it. It's closer to, to being something I like because I struggled with it, but it's still a little. I don't know. It needs more. Um, uh, green stem here. No. I mean, to be honest, I quite like tax. Yeah, I'll, I'll go down with tax. Like, it's quite fun using a tax too. Yeah. It's, it's not the most complex weapon, but it's quite fun. It just slams and heads. Right. Oh, it's right. it, it, It's just like, to me, it, it like tax too is quite fun just because it's kind of like a fast icky weapon and you people in the head, but I. Think of it as being a weapon that is like, it's missing something. Like all the time. Like a funny shotgun bundle. Yeah. I feel like you're pretty good at gauging like how much of a full weapon something is. They really are like 80% of a weapon, like heavy sword. Yeah, and it's like, and, and, and I think it's, it's. To me, it's, it's just like, oh, oh, there are certain kinds of choices that a weapon has to let you make and count. And. People often say, well, you know, I don't do those, you know, I don't use all of the choices available on a weapon, but it's like, if you don't even have that choice, then a weapon just feels flat. <laughs> and I think chaining is, is a big one. Like, just having very small movesets with limited chaining, and then the moves aren't that varied, and there's no funny hitboxes, and you just... Because, like, the, the heavy swords are carried by some moves with some funny hitboxes, and, you know, the fact that they're quite fun just to swing around, but... They, they are wildly missing. You know, making the shred on chain swords be just an attack would also completely remove the jank of like the activation toggle of like, oh, I accidentally deactivated my weapon, or oh, I need to QQ to make sure it's deactivated. Yeah. This, this is this is like why I think it should be for every single weapon that has a fully activated move set. You sh they should be moved to this model immediately with no questions asked because there is no case in which it is worse. Yeah. And it gets through the you know like the problem of dangling activations, you never have it. Because it would also mean that if you were doing like an activated swing, you could block cancel it, right? Like your, your relationship to the activation state is so much less overhead. Um, you know, you're never having to keep track of the state of the weapon. Right? So, given that the state is literally not used, or the only activation weapon that has an actual state that is used is the power sword. Um, and even that one, you could switch the model. Just feels like it's such a free win. And, and you know, like you say, it's also this thing of, of just the fiction of the weapon. Having, a, oh, what's the special in this? It lets me push the button, as opposed to oh, I why am I starting the fight with my weapon unplugged, bro? <laughs> yeah, and, and it's like I, I think there's there's something to be said, like at a basic level, for having inputs where it's like I push this button, and you know, the, this button maps to how hard I'm chainsawing this car. And the longer I hold it, the more he gets. You know what I mean? Like it's it's. There's something intuitively satisfactory about that. Um, but there is not something satisfactory about I'm what? pressing. I think I got sniped through a slide. Oh. That's not good. That's not supposed to happen. Anyway. Oh, you reckon it's desynced wind up? Might be. I thought I was about to say that, that green snipers ignore dodge state. What? No, 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 just like as, as a pitch for like what the green buff should give them. They ignore dodges now! 
We need to get you out of the test server right now. No, no. I because you know, think about it, right? It's just gonna make them more balanced because you can't dodge them anyway, right? of a farmer all here for a bit. I wish I had to dodge counter so much. Oh no, there's a chaos spawn. And that burster is haunted. Can we make bursters unfloppable? What if we just make them really floppy? Like pure flop? Yeah, like 100% flop. Like bursters just move around That's like new trinkies. Oh, is padding broken here? Why is that bulwark going all the way around? It was dope. They died to silent buster. Oh no. <laughs> they should just have some enemies that just have really bad, like, sense of direction. He's just like. They should have a visibly getting confused animation. Yeah, it's just like the bulwark needs a map for everything. He just doesn't know where he is. <laughs> Wall here. Asmaraka had a weak, really, like, funny idea for a gamble-based class. Like, you just play it as, like, a trash can fucking house god or bounty hunter guy. And literally everything he does is, like, pulling out a crappy garbage-based tool. Like, he has an ability where he just pulls out, like, a gun with his left hand. And it's just, like, an auto pistol with a, uh... Like, it's belt a belt-fed auto pistol with just, like, one big line of ammo. And it just constantly has a chance to just misfire or double fire, and there's just black smoke everywhere. That'd be hilarious. Well, you gotta have you gotta have the high and the low, you know. The high is literally getting just one for one bounty hunters double shot at talent, and then yeah, the low is just your gun explodes in your face, and you need a comical like that smoke nice. first try, up. first try. Yeah. Like you know how in the, the cartoons where their gun fires and their entire head just turns to black smoke. Black. There, there really is like a severe like the thing about plasma and why I think plasma is much worse than void strike is that people don't kill themselves with plasma and I just I've seen it I, I want it to kill you more it's really important to me that plasma should kill people more you know what I'm saying I mean I it's been brought up many many times before that gambling into a plasma gun. <gasps> a new we, before every mission, you have to pay Hadron a certain amount to make your plasma gun like safe, and you can and if you and if, you know it costs a ridiculous amount of plasma steel to plasma get it fully <laughs> to get it fully safe, and so people can pay for like a cheap oh, no. a cheap version of the blessing, which only gives you like ninety percent protection. Yes. God, I'm, a, I'm an innovator in mechanics. Oh, Adam, you don't even have to ask about that. Of course we're going to implement it, where if the plasma explodes, you will just be boots. <laughs> there will be nothing left but boots. The other thing, too, is that, like, I really want uh, plas uh, plasma and power explosions to team kill. So, I know this, so this will not be used for good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anybody in anybody in the Karkin Ball server would abuse that on on day one. Randoms will never be the same. Dude, I just love the idea. So it should much. it should throw people around like a barrel. You could yeah. ledge someone on demand from Psycho, imagine. 
okay, I like that. That, that. that it sounds like it's just for like funny moments, but then in reality yeah, you can really be fucked up. Probably like pull a fast one, you know. Yeah, to yeah. say, you know, oh this is like more accurate, you know, the force. You know, actually uh, I'm just gonna turn myself into a walking barrel. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love if uh if like power explosion. Um or like high peril stuff would just activate monstrous specialists without people realizing. I think that'd be we respawn. God, I wish my dodge counter worked again. Do you look at it? You have you have two dodges. I mean, all I lied. Hey, I, I, I found my god level looking ghost counter because we're not really looking at that <laughs> Because he has zero on on your screen and you don't no, like it. No, zero. Come on, minus five. Oh, oh yeah, that, yeah, child's play. <laughs> that <laughs> minus six dodges. In the best, the best moment when you're dodging, like, oh, why the fuck can I go anywhere? This fucking game's buggy. Look, this is like minus five dodges or something. I would love to suggest, can we just try having Vermintai 2 dodge reset timers back? Just for a week. Just see how it plays. Because it generally feels so slow in this game. I, like, I don't understand how they made our like overall movement so fast, but then the actual gonna, act of using say, the unique movement mechanic of tag games is so much worse than it used to be. We're, we're fast, but in the wrong ways. We're fast in between, like, attacking, where you just kind of zoom through maps if you just stop caring about the enemies, but then you're slow In between when you're bouts of having a liquid brain. Oh, yeah, yeah I mean, uh, the, the thing is, though, that, like, right now, like, you can spam dodge too much already. Like, relative to the amount of safety it gives you. So it's, it just feels like, I don't know, I, I... It's, it's... I think it should be tidied up in some ways, but it feels like it would need some adjustment first, because at the moment, dodge is, like... Too much well, I mean, dodge dodges should require timing. Yeah. The issue is that timing is way too dangerous, too too generous, and as a result, the mechanic is like you have this really overpowered thing that feels horrible to use. Yeah, I, I guess that's what I mean. Is that I, I would want to rework dodges before I made dodges easier to use because. <laughs> it's, it's Why is this third right heavy now. so slow? Every time I actually want to use it, because I'm like, okay, time to do the attack. <laughs> it's, an, it's an Augur reference, an you, don't, hour. you don't understand. Enemy attack animation is too slow, yes, they need to be sped up at like 40%, same with their movement speed. Dude, Honestly, like, have you actually know. taken the time to look at what a box worker does before it hits you? It's insane. Well, po box workers are like a, an even more demented chase than, than you That's a... Box workers are... Really well, box workers are designed to an extent to... Like, essentially, you're not meant to be attending to an individual pop walkers attack, so it's more permissible for pop walkers, although they could still be sped up, because it's... Like, I mean, even if you make them have, like, a normal attack animation, like, the Horde in Vermintide was just like that, you don't really pay active, you know, you're not actively paying attention to them. Yeah, but, but, but all I mean is, like, it's, to me, it's much less of an issue that the pop walkers are slow, just because, in general, you, you know, you don't get baited by them, because you're never really looking at a single pop walker. I, I, they should still be sped up, but it's, it's more stuff like bruises. Like the timing between bruiser swings and when their attacks land, the the correlation between the sound that they make and when the active frames of the attack are it, is not consistent. And so it's like, you know, if you're playing DMC3 or something, you can play the whole game blindfolded because all of the enemy damage frames have exactly the same relationship with the sounds that they make. And that doesn't hold in this game, and it's like, well, you know, it's not Devil May like, yeah, well, enemies in Devil May Cry make sound. Yeah, yeah that's your first issue. Oh yeah, but I mean, it's like this is this is you know in the Cyclanium with just just one guy, right? Like it it, it should at least work in principle. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you know what doesn't least... work in the Cyclanium with a what? single enemy? Backstab sounds. Backstab sounds will always always fail to play, and it's a deterministic thing. Will always fail to play on the second time. Like you get one backstab sound, then the enemy attacks again. No backstab sound. It's oh right, so, so that, that's actually that that's an, that's an intentional feature. Ah, um, I see. So, so there's, there is a backstab lockout. So basically, like, what you get is you get a backstab sound for uh, each... I can't remember how much of it's per enemy versus, like, overall. But the basic idea is just so that you don't get, like, incredibly spammed backstab sounds under certain conditions, but also so that it's like, if you have a bunch of enemies attacking you from behind, you don't just get, like, a horrendous... Because, you know, you only... The, the first cue should be enough for you to turn around, I guess is the idea. That part is intentional. 
it's I'd love too an long. option to disable it. It's too long at the moment. And this is like when I first looked at it, you know, if you just took three crushers, it was like all might. I don't know if have you, I don't know what you measured it as, but for me it was like four or five seconds from what I remember. And it's that is basically long. if a single enemy is attacking you, his first and third attack will make a back step sound, but the second oh, one. Yeah, yeah. So that, that yeah, that's probably about like three or four seconds. And the the thing I felt and what I still think is that for certain categories of attack, like overheads. Um, and a few others, there should never be uh, backstab sound lockout overheads. So, you know, I want to know if there's a one shot coming from behind, no matter what. There is no situation where I am ambivalent to that information. Really, I want to know if anything is behind me. I'd love to disable that option. Like like you said the other day, just want to play with a game that never includes any fucking sound. <laughs> you fuck me up. Like I can choose which sounds get, get toggled on and off. Yeah. Turn off all of the box workers. But no, I mean the, the only reason I'm saying that this is like less bad than the old situation is because this is this is sort of. Oh, that dug me. I mean, no just... sound, dude. They're just the instant pounce. You have to undog me around there. You have a trapper behind you. Thank you. Like it's so problematic with dogs doing that. The instant pounce. Oh yeah. Just like instant pounce, no sound warning. Oh, I'm bummed. Because I, I do suspect that the um, like a lot of silent dogs that come from out of line of sight, it's also because they're just skipping stuff in there. Like hey, what? Hit it! <laughs> Hello? What happened? They can't get inside the elevator. When did they break that? Is it always like this? Oh. Well. I was expecting a tactical bomb. Too fat. <laughs> the beast of Nego is clocking them with the doorway. I can't move! There's one dude inside my hitbox and my dodges are getting fucking eaten. Oh wait, my chat is broken, hold on. I don't know why it periodically locks out and I have to go interact with it. Like the window thinks it's no longer in effect or something. There's a heal left. Yes. Dude, not having a dodge count is really annoying. Like, I know I'm complaining a lot this run, but it's such a core thing to have to know. And it's such a good indicator of like netcode misbehavior. I hate not having it. Like that fox, that fox walker must have blocked like three dodges, but <laughs> I don't have the visual proof. Yeah, I did you just see my character not move? We have to kill that, I feel. To compensate for those bosses we choose. The, the, uh, yeah, like, like, like uh, random enemies on the floor blocking dodges is especially frustrating because it's like... I know that, you, you know, when, whenever someone says in real life, it's always like a warning sign. But this is one of those things where it's like, the legitimate difference between a video game and real life is that in real life, you always know if your movement is being occluded by something next to you. And it's just like, <laughs> that stuff happens. Can I not teleport inside? Cool. Dude, that's crazy. They need to fix that. What? That, that is super busted. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I'm not reloading my mods. I've done it the other day by accident and didn't crash because of Miracle. Have, have your people like mods keep buying on top. Make sure your mods are always fresh. Cool. I love ghost hits with chain weapons and then you just pull them in front of you like a goober. That dog I think made no sound as well. Just like pounce. I'm not gonna do this. We're gonna get another medkit. Why are you not running? The corruption removal aura? No team play, dude. Dude, come on. Gotta believe it in the team. Are, are, are you don't running have a loner? Are you running loner, like a bad zealot, who takes the loner aura that removes his team utility, thus making him useless, unlike the other auras that are essential for team play? I couldn't tell you what my aura does right now. I just have to pass to it to get the correct thing. I think it's VR. Don't even think about it. <laughs> you see, that's the thing. That's like classic lack of team play, right? That's why you will never be a member of a four-man team that regularly clears damnation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm very I also, sorry. I my shield game is also a bit weak, around. so I can't be a I can't be an off tank. I mean, at this rate, you can't even be a sub off support tank. You know. Like, 
<laughs> and you're a bit high. You're still level one. Honestly, the descriptions and the arrows could be literally anything, and I would still not care if half of them if I was thinking. I mean, it could be like heavy attack damage against Ogrins while you're surrounded, and also you're in a pub with exactly one random who rage quit. No, like, like when you're lucky, you can walk back to the map. Yeah, Mercantile. Yeah, that's new ish. It's yeah. been a couple of months since it's been like that. I, I spray that dude <laughs> or, or, or it's been productively real moves. And the game plays here. here. Do I think it would have been better for the game that would have been released until way later? Yes, but I think they literally couldn't because they delayed the game for over a year. Me when I said it should have just released in early access. Expectations. Yeah, I think early access was unironically. If, if it had been a more palatable option in, in like, you know, conceptually, if it, that, that was I think good. the issue is that, that really they did so little, like, for so long. That with the early access, people would have been like, okay, this game's abandoned. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And I don't know, which one is worse, abandoning a game that's supposed to be finished or abandoning a game that's supposed to be in development? Oh, I, th I think, I think you know, because the thing about early access too is it, it changes how you develop because it's like, you can get away with a lot more. Oh, I don't think Fatrack would have changed the way they develop. I think they just slapped the early access label on. Well, I mean, you know, I, if, if, if they were thinking about it, uh, because you know it's, it's stuff like you know the uh, no full the price game. are you kidding me so many early access games launch with their full price yeah <laughs> uh, that's, that's that's super common but i mean i think i think it's 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 more just that you know they, they if they were doing it properly they could have had stuff like you know here are the classes that we're releasing with you know these are temporary we're, we're developing four classes we'll do four previews yeah we'll instead of lying previews. to us saying that we'd just be getting one subclass every quarter yeah, exactly. You know, that, that kind of stuff. Like that. I mean, it's sort of. It's, it would have handled properly. Yeah. It could have gone much better. Yeah. No, no, no we doubt. should tip our early access devs. True. Yep. So true. Twenty dollar tip for our <laughs> for our suffering devs. Please. Yeah, I mean that. That's like basically I think about like why I, I remember when Park Life first came out. I uh, I got the, 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 the one of the support packs. Kind of like. Yeah. Thank you, Christopher Wilson. I will only tip if I get another beta helmet reason for it. That should just be like a side quest in Dark Tide. Just like collecting as many beta helmet reskins as you can. How many are we up to? Like still, I'm still waiting. Like they did scam the entire uh, pre-existing player base by giving so many equivalents to console players. I'm still waiting. We lose. As a, I will absolutely take as an excuse, uh, as a, as an apology, a, a blue recolor of the beta helmet. I'm, I'm not even gonna be mad because it's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, getting a new beta helmet on the season. That would be a lovely treat. <laughs> yeah, I do miss I do miss the, the old like unskinned beta helmet when they just introduced the, the skull beta helmet. They, it kinda just looked like you were just wearing your bicycle helmet. <laughs> Well, that's, that's what I kind of was thinking is just like, I would really like a, a Visa helmet that looks more like a dunce cap. Like, or more like a, you know, sort of... Exactly, exactly, that's what I have in mind. Just, just like replace a mark the... that you're a goober. Yeah. Replace the V with a D and then there you go. Quick yeah. call in chat, did anyone hear that Plague Ogre in charging behind me? Did anyone expect that Plague Ogre in charge in attack? I didn't hear it. My stream was muted. It's, it, if, if there is one thing that Plague Ogre is known for, it's extreme stuff to get in that movement. Yeah, it's just like how rat ogres are faster than they look. Plague ogres are quieter than they look. Yeah. I just think people are really going to be mixed up by the... Beast, uh, beast, beast. <laughs> the first ogre in melee weapon being a katana. Can it be like a freaking katana though? Like the ogre has both of his hands on the katana, then he's biting down on it as well. The, yeah. the, the extra... So that's like... Yeah. No, I, I mean, it, it, it's like it's the, the fourth specialization for Ogre. It's going to be Ogre Ninja. Can you imagine? Because every other class gets a stealth spec. But now it's Ogre's turn. Can you imagine the gameplay? You just covered your hand, your your face with your hands, and the enemies are playing along because they feel kind of bad. Yeah, that sounds great. And like, and the enemies have special reactions when you do it near them. They're like, just pretend you don't see him. 
Yeah, there's a reaction where if two troopers are nearby and one of them doesn't play along and sees you, his friend will like tap him on the side, like nudge him with the butt of his rifle. Yeah, and like <laughs> have a nod of disapproval. Yeah, play along, man. Come on. Alone He's trying. Mind. He's giving his all. Dude, the Algren having a giant barrel he carries on him and just goes in it and starts rolling downhill. Oh my god. The <laughs> gameplay. I want a zealot, Algren. What is it? Do you know what DK stands for? Huh? What was that? Cool flamer. He was hiding. No god, the flamer exists. Time where people look, look at the flame and think this is cool. <laughs> people will see this and go hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> people, men will, dudes will see this and go meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Me, dude. Ah, no. Does the shotgunner have a fucking potato in his mouth? Oh Looks like he's vomiting all over himself. Light, you are not helping. Hell yeah, Lee. Still waiting for a picture of your hand. Now this is gameplay. Put this in the fucking trailer for Trader Curse. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes have gone cross. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Full sound, full sound volume as well. Yeah. It does. It does feel kind of like a, an issue with with like light attacks in this in this game in general. Is like they often end up like a lot of the weapons that I like. They have it's either push attacks or heavy attacks that most of my enjoyment in. Whereas lights tend to be a lot less uh, interesting. And this is a really bad case of it. Yeah. Oh, I dropped. Oh, come on. Bless you, did we get? Oh, good, bless you. Did we have, if we get equal farm, then I, I will come, we, we can come at the same time. Equal, equal, oh, it. I won't pick up anything, I'll see, let me see. Wait, isn't, what's the max plus two you can get again? 805. 805. <laughs> I need 20 more! I think it's over. You can't get any in the vent thing. No, but there's some behind this door. Oh yeah, oh yeah, true, true, true. Oh, there's a there's a big class skill though. Yeah, the green sniper is a bit fucked. <laughs> oh! God, there was you need you need oh. five plus steel. No, no it's over. We have already above my. Imagine a blessing. Yeah, we reached the max. Imagine Insane. blessing reduced the damage a weapon did by fifty percent, but gave you like one plus steel on top. I'll put down this ammo here. When we're looking. They I started they, it. I need farm weapons. 
Yeah. Imagine if you went to a park and everyone's going to be murdered. Oh, there's still a bunch of stuff here. I need to get rid of. Oh, I could shit. trade a curio for like a bot, like a servitor that just follows me around and picks up all the best stuff. Just get rid of it. Lots mechanic. of armor. Lots of armor. Oh yes, indeed. See, I just popped a trapper's head off and it really didn't feel that satisfying. I think that's a massive... That's when you know your weapon's a bit raw. It's raw! There is plague upon the air! Silent Pogrin <laughs> rams me from the front. Oh, I'll pick him up. You know, you know, you know what else Pogrin needs? He just needs to straight up damage first. I mean, he does need, like, probably work, but... Right now... Yeah, he's a bit of a joke. Yeah, it, 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 it's one of those things where it's like, okay, oh, the problem is, he, he never hits anyone and stuff, but like, if he hits you, it should at least do something. Uh, it's really, it's just the problem is, he either does nothing, or he just ledges you because he makes no sound, and neither are good. Yeah, well, oh, come on, how did that not get him, dude? That would have been so sick. A bit dirty, but really sick. What if Pilgrims always came in pairs? Yeah! With their friends. What does Fetrek think about the vacuum capsule mod? I don't think they think anything about it. I don't think they think. Oh, I mean, for most them, it's like. <laughs> Why would they? I mean, just say that maybe they know that it's not the brightest thing to ban people that are like the last 100 players this game has because they're saying vacuum capsule in a video game. I think you've got bigger problems to worry about. How many are you? I mean, you, there's people on Reddit who can't play anymore because people are saying vacuum caps. Really? Has that, has that been like a thing where people get mad? There, there, was, about there, was, there was at least one post where somebody's like, I, I can't do this. I'm getting hyper stimulated. Yeah, it's too much, you know. Like, imagine, imagine having such a powerful brain that vacuum caps your brain to get all together. That's incredible. <laughs> That's like an ascended form of life right there. You've been kicked because of it? Dude, Dorok as well. That's just, just so crazy to me. I've never had a bad reaction to it. I don't know, maybe EU plays are more chill. Oh, did you play in EU? I can say, that's weird. Sometimes you have people who join in on voice as well. It's really cute. I'm just like, if I ever notice anything someone on my team is doing, it is actually bad, I'm always just like, that's nice. Because, you know. There's nothing worse than playing games with other people and they're not doing anything and notable at all and you're just sitting there like going in. I'm letting the girl behind you watch out. Listen to that burster occluding all the audio around it. That's so foul, dude. That is so raw. Trapper on you. Oh, I didn't even see that sniper.
the dude who takes like a silly game too seriously is one of my favourite genres of guys. Oh, like the yeah. dude who's genuinely just furious about the lack of team play in his like online games. We gotta stick together, this is damnation! They just have no respect! <laughs> do you remember the... Uh, I don't think you see it right, the, the guy explaining like why Zealot, uh, why Vet is, is unplayable on damnation. I really, I really do appreciate Was the... Was it the argument giving you a lesson of the rules of the classes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Oh, like that clip is great. You can post that again. It's not like I have it on hand. It's such a, it's such a, it has a wholesome feel. Yeah, I just, I just wish that like there was a way to sort of play sub thirty when you're like level thirty. Just, just infiltrate the low levels as like a scale down level ten player. Cause I'm just like, out, out here leveling an account to test how the guns feel at the time. And, uh, I, I just had. Much more interesting experience. I'm surprised that dog pounced after I broke out last. That's pretty strange. Okay, we're done. Oh, very nice. I wanted to go kill the beast before that. Stop that. such a gamer. The R in Rodders stands for them. Yep. I thought the R stood for Raid. You're not wrong. I thought that was implied. I guess they are like one and the same. I tried to do an actual gamer move. I tried like dashing forward when I thought the meat would be dead to get away from the booster. It didn't work. I'm not being rewarded for being creative. What happened to kill with skill, TM? Oh, I slid it! Oh, events have occurred. Oh, wait, I, I, sh I should have held the clip so that I could uh, so that you watch it again after his intervention. I've got full bore Norris back. Standard pussy no crate shotgun. My favorite classic configuration. My favorite random archetype is the team leader veteran who doesn't actually know how to play the game, but he's trying to control all of his other randoms, like some characters in RTS, so he doesn't die. See, that's, that's... I love those. I always I, I always ask you exactly what they mean. Like they they ping stuff and, and I'm like, are you sure? This is where we're gonna go? I love it. Well, I've had my yearly chainsword run. I've got something for you. Ah, ah, ah! Oh, it's quite interesting in, in the sense that if you think about that run, like how much did you use the rev? Uh, every single time there was a target that was like made the flowchart go into I must press my rev button. <laughs> And, but what were you Crushers, bulwarks, like, monsters. What were you most of your time, Dick? Oh, off spam. Just fucking mashing <laughs> Just it. Mashing out straight yeah. blasting that left click, dude. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and, and there's like a, a straight up. Uh, yeah, there's there's a. I don't know. <laughs> it does feel like if you're gonna have a, a heavy like this that's designed for horde clear, yeah, that's what a third heavy is for. If mashing is so much better than it, it just feels like it needs help. I love how we played like Giga retards this run. Just like I, I, I physically couldn't pay attention to this weapon. I'm so sorry for the viewers. This is so unpleasant. It is so. That's really the word for it. This it weapon is unpleasant fun. to use. My beloved thinks the streamer is an asshole that knows nothing about anything.